Artificial intelligence is often as impressive as it is terrifying. Whether you love AI or find it scary, Doll E Mini is a tool that will likely only enforce your opinion. Watch till the end to see exactly how it does its magic. You're on the Jelvix channel, tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. Doll E Mini is an online text to image generator that has recently exploded in popularity on social media. The program takes a text phrase like mountain sunset, Eiffel Tower on the moon, Obama making a sandcastle, and creates an image out of it. Can you imagine the ridiculous pics people create? We need to see some more examples, right? Now, on social media, you can find numerous weird Dolly Mini creations, from Thanos in a Walmart looking for his mother, to Jar Jar Binks winning the Great British Bake Off. Let's see just a couple of examples. Just wow. Have you already tried it? Let us know in the comments section under the video. Aren't you wondering how it all works inside? Okay, well, we'll explain. The model consists of a few already known building blocks, connected in a very clever way with some interesting engineering problems to solve as well. Those blocks are VQGAN, Transformer, BART, and CLIP. The first important building block is the VQGAN. It consists of encoder, decoder, and transformer. Encoder translates input image into a sequence of indices from the codebook. Thus, we reformulated the problem from processing pixels, where CNNs, conventional neural networks, usually shine, into language modeling, where transformers shine. This is the main idea. VQGAN tries to combine the benefits of both CNN and the transformer approach for image synthesis. Then we take the intermediate sequence representation to the transformer model and train it to the language modeling task. Transformer learns how far distributed pieces of the image are related to each other. The decoder does the reverse work of the encoder. From the sequence of integers, codebook indices, it recreates the image. By the way, if you want to know more about AI image recognition, check out the article we've prepared. The link is in the description. The second part is BART. It's relatively simple in comparison to VQGAN. BART is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence autoencoder based on, surprise, transformer architecture. The goal is to reconstruct input text corrupted by noise. Now, having these first two components is enough to train Doll E Mini. During the training process, the VQGAN encoder encodes images. The BART encoder encodes captions. The output of both encoders is combined and passed to the BART decoder. VQGAN and BART encoder output are then used to calculate the cross entropy loss. So the main idea is that the VQGAN encoder and the BART decoder should produce the same sequence for the image and caption pair. Now the third part is CLIP. CLIP is only used in inference mode and trains separately. CLIP is a model that takes text and image embedding and tells how well they match. To train the CLIP model again, we need a bunch image and text pairs. Dedicated encoders transform images and text into the same vector space. For each pair, the dot product between them is calculated. The object is to have close text and image representations for matching pairs and distant for non-matching. So does it make a little more sense now? Still no? All right, let's take a look at how Doll E Mini works. In this case, we only have the caption and are supposed to produce an image. The first thing to do is to feed the BART encoder with the description. Then, to generate candidates, we sample the BART decoder numerous times. Each candidate goes through VQGAN decoder and produces a candidate image. This can be the final step, as multiple images were generated and can be presented to the user. Though, we can do better and use Clip to choose the best generated picture. And is Doll E Mini related to Doll E 2? No, they're not associated. Doll E 2 is also a tool for generating AI images, launched this year as a commercial project and continuation of the first Doll E. It was created by the AI research and deployment company OpenAI and is not widely available. 
The Doll E Mini consists of several already known open source building blocks, except that Clip was used open sourced by OpenAI, the creators of the original Doll E. So isn't Doll E Mini cooler than Doll E 2? Doll E Mini is now a viral internet phenomenon. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.